Hey, what's up guys? I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel and a big day today for Apple. Apple has officially launched iOS 14.5 RC to registered developers. Now, public beta testers, you'll most likely see this a little later today. Maybe by the time you watch this video, it will be made available for you as well. But today was Apple's spring-loaded event, as you may or may not know, and there was a lot of products announced, a lot of things that I did not think were going to be announced. Apple today introduced a brand new color for the iPhone, a spring color. It's called purple and now you can grab the iphone 12 in the color purple for the iphone 12 and 12 pro in regards to specs or anything like that you're not going to get any improvements or performance increase it's just simply a new color for the iphone now apple finally announced air tags today as well in case you haven't been tracking this is a tracking device that allows you to find things like backpacks maybe your keys and things like that it's going to be using the find my network you can get one of these tags for 29 dollars and a set of four for 99 dollars pre-orders starting april 23rd and available on april 30th. Now, Apple also announced a brand new Apple TV 4K with new remote control. That one will be available late or mid-May. Apple did not specify a date for that one. New iMacs were announced today as well in seven different colors with the Apple M1 chip, of course, and available for pre-orders as early as April the 30th. Now, one of my favorite products is the new iPad Pro with 5G and XDR liquid retina display with Apple's new silicon M1 available in Thunderbolt on board as well, available on April the 30th. So just a lot of products announced today, but Apple also announced software. So iOS 14.5, as I mentioned, RC was released today for registered developers alongside iPad OS 14.5 RC, watch OS 7.4 RC, and TV OS 14.5 RC is available as well for registered developers. Now here is pretty much the latest build number. For those of you that do not know, the RC is the release candidate. Here's the build that we'll see next week for the public 18E199. Developers get it a week early just in case any minor bugs may come about, but it doesn't look like this software will have any issues from here on out. It's just so polished out. The software feels ready to go. It's been a long beta cycle since February. It's been a long, long beta testing cycle and iOS 14.5 RC is now available. As I mentioned, public beta testers, you may see this later after watching this video, but we can expect iOS 14.5, according to Apple, to be released to everyone worldwide as early as Monday, the 26th of April. So next week, Apple could be releasing this software according to Apple. So it could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. But next week, Apple will release this one for everyone. And there's a ton of features added to iOS 14.5 for the iPhone and iPads. So of course, I'll have my follow-up video and full review. Just so you guys know, iOS 14.5 RC is now available. A ton of new Apple products. Links in the description for today's event and announcements if you want to watch it in details. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.